YouTube, this is the Needed Podcast episode, the episode 148, 148 straight weeks, getting it done, doing the thing, potting, potting, talking about Madden, even when Madden has nothing to talk about, but this week we're excited, we got a lot to talk about, and I got a package, I got a nice little gamer ourselves package, we'll open up, see what's inside of it, unboxing, unreveal, everything like that, you know what I'm saying, boys, what's up, what's up, everybody check in, everybody check in real quick. Get it doing what it do. You guys know the vibes. What's up, boys? We're here. We're here. We're here. Got some good rusty poo today. You know what I'm saying? Feeling good. Feeling strong. What's up with you guys? Got an unboxing from Gamer Subs. The, the real bully. There he is. There he is. There he goes. You always got to have one of these, boys. Now, I don't know if you got, like, what do you have at your desk? But you always got to have one of these. The multi-tool. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it could be a wrench. It could be a pliers. It could be a screwdriver. Whatever it may be. You got to have one of these at your desk at all times. Now, I have the real tools, right? But you never, you might not need those. Maybe you only need the small multi-tool. You know what I'm saying? And that's what we got right here. Boom. So we got this Swiss Army, something like that. This is from Gamer Subs. You guys know exclamation point drink somebody in the chat. Show you guys the link to get you some of this good stuff. This is, I'll be honest, boys. I've been rocking with Gamer Subs for over a year. And I rock with them because I really like this stuff. Pina Colada. Little Pina Colada action. Are you guys pina colada guys? Yes or no? W or L on the pina colada. My man Santi in the building. Pina colada. W or L. I mean, I like the colada. I'm not the craziest colada guy, but it's it's a slight dub. It's not my top of the list. What's our other one we got? Ooh, this is some... I can't lie. These are some really gippy flavors right here. Strawberry Daiquiri. Strawberry Daiquiri. Here we go right here, man. The leader in gaming energy and nutrition. This is not powder. This is not crap. This is not the stuff that just gives you it gives you energy for an hour. This is real stuff, man. I told you this this doesn't make me any money, man. I don't do that. They don't they're not paying me really to do any diet. I get a little bit of sales. That's what I get. So I and the only reason I stay with them, really, because they're good guys, and I really like the shit. Beyond, that's about it, you know? I really, I honestly do. And the other stuff that's out there, I really don't like at all, to be honest. So, that's why I'm rocking with them, and I'm probably going to stay rocking with them for the longest, really. I have, see, I would try these flavors, but they're closed. You know, this is, um... I got my Mango Meta that's open right now. So I'm going to rock with Mango Meta for the time being. Yeah, I just honestly, I just that's what I like. I like it, you know. So they sent me that. There it is. You can get these two. I believe this is this a big tub or a little tub. I don't know. I feel like this is girthy, but not as long. Y'all see, y'all nasty. 5.6, 5.6. So they have a new... This is a new size, pause, a new, uh, more girthier than tall. Their old can was a little taller. This is a little girthier. But five, this is a hundred servings. So this is a hundred energy drinks. You get this for about 30 bucks and you get 10% off if you use need it at checkout. Once again, exclamation point drink in the chat. It will pop up. This is what I drink pretty much every night when I want to really game. You know what I'm saying? 100 servings of girth. Y'all took it. Y'all took that the wrong way. Like, what am I to do? Like, what am I supposed to do? Did you guys check in on the TikTok or the or the YouTube? Matty Ice didn't check in on either. My man Histic checked in. I don't know who else checked in. Actually, a lot of people checked in. As I go look who checked in. I pay attention to the checkers. I'll be honest. I pay attention to the checkers. I do. I pay attention to the checkers. We're closing it on. We, this is a, a, a two out of ten YouTube video, so we're doing pretty good. 
you know we're doing pretty good we're kind of we're kind of doing our thing today boys we're doing our thing today big farmington big farmington so there it is man the tiktok let me see are we farmington on tiktok are we farming no not farming But we do got new strawberry daiquiri and pina colada. But I told you, you guys hop on Gamer Self's website. You can check out that. The best flavor for me was that guacamole gamer fart that my man, the, the Russian badger, whoever his name is, he made that flavor. And it was it's actually cracked. You don't think you would you don't think you would argue. You don't think that you would get a flavor called guacamole gamer fart, but it's actually gas. The money is in TikTok. Is that right? I haven't gotten paid a dime from TikTok. Well, maybe I'll get there one day. What's your rank in Mutt right now? City boy, you're probably higher than me, buddy. Now, I'll tell you, speaking of gas, Pepsi Mango, this is kerosene. This is actually kerosene, this right here. Actual kerosene, Pepsi Mango. Zero sugar, you know me. I'm trying to watch my figure. My man Zarek, Zarek, through November with a tier one. Zarek, my guy, thank you, man. I'm telling y'all, the Pepsi Mango. No, I'm out. Yo, the Pepsi Mango is actual crack. Mallow, this this is bad for you, but. He was at a club with, he, he went with six girls, but that's not bad for your health, right? You know, you drink a diet soda and it's bad for your health. But Mallow, the guy that goes to the club with six girls being the chaperone and the, you know, that's not bad for your health. And, and there's probably people out here. There's probably people out here like, oh, he went to the club with six girls. That's cool. No, it's never cool to go. It's never cool. See, this is the thing. It's never be see people think it's cool to be outnumbered by to be outnumbered by bitches. That's not cool. That's not good, bro. Tell me y'all, it's not. The best is like a couple more dudes that than than what if your squad got like if you you at a club and it's like what's our like 60 40 dudes, that's good. Cause you gotta have you gotta have listen, man, let me tell you something. The world out there is about competition. You want a bag. You want a bag. You don't want to just be just be handed to Jones. You know what I'm saying? For real. You want to be the man. You want to be the man in the whole spot. I don't know how y'all get down. Maybe that's y'all want participation trophies. See, Mallow going to the club with six girls is a participation trophy. Do y'all want participation trophies? And that's cool if that's where you want to go. You know what I'm saying? Listen, I will tell y'all this. The older you get, the more you realize, I don't want to spend any time with, like, like women aren't fun to be around. I, at all. <laughs> at all. I don't want to hear that y'all got a cool chick in the squad, something like that. No. They really not funny. They don't pay for shit. I'm being honest, man. They bring free liquor. What? I'm telling you, man. Marzo, that's what I'm doing right now, man. I, yeah, I just got out of the shower. When you just get out of the shower, bro, you, I just start sweating from that hot shower.
My man Zems got a natty chip tournament. What's that? Oh man, fuck it, J Wall. Zem, you're bro, you're Zems, you're Zems TV. Zemstva. That's you, man. Yeah, I don't know about why I hang out with women. Buster, what's up, buddy? How are you, man? Let me tell you something. Don't see Zem, you already lost. J Wall's in my bracket though. Sheesh. You lost. You lost. Don't ever show a man that you're afraid of him. You could be scared as fuck. You could be scared. Dude, you think I was a, I was scared of Madden games when I played, but you never let them know that shit. Once somebody knows you're afraid of them, their confidence goes through the roof. Their confidence goes through the roof. You have to, you have to put a front on. That's what I'm saying. You got a front when there's nothing that like you just got to put a front on that you're not afraid. Yeah. Nah, Zem, you'll be alright. Just think of it like this. You already made it as far. You already made it further than anybody, right? You already made it far. That's how I feel about this tournament as we're beginning to talk about it, right? Like, if you, did anybody, who qualified for the tournament in the chat? Who qualified? Do I got any qualifiers, any of the top 200 in the chat? Is anybody going to be in the Thanksgiving tournament or whatever it is? Is anybody rocking? Did anybody qual? As they say, did anybody qual? I'll be honest, man. If you, if you qualled, you're pretty good. Like, for real. Uh, it was tough. Well, well, everybody that qualified, what was everybody's record? My man is sick in the building 25 months. What was everybody's record? We'll talk about the qualifying process. We'll talk about the, uh, the tournament itself. You know what I'm saying? We'll talk about all that stuff. Because I... Part of me wants to say this was a good format. Part of me wants to say that. You know, uh, I don't know how you guys feel about it. I don't really have too many negatives about it. I mean, I didn't like, like, let's think about how many people were playing. Now, here's another question. How many days did you guys play? I played one day. I played one last game on Sunday to kind of change my seating. Uh, but I played one day. You know, so it wasn't you didn't have to play every day. Like that let's 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 get that under you didn't have to. Like I see people, oh, you had to play X amount of days, you had to why could how could I put away my life for, for you didn't have to. I feel like matchmaking didn't suck. Uh, one of the downsides was once you got high, I, honestly, I don't really know how it worked. I feel like once you got high enough, it really only matched you up with people really close to you, right? And those people weren't always searching, so that's what kind of led to the hour long, you know, hour long wait times for video games, you know. So I, I wish I think the matchmaking process needs to be a little more, uh, what's it called, transparent. Now, ultimately, you could give. I, I, I don't think I'd want the top eight people playing. You know, bottom two hundred people. You know, like, but then they would get they would get random games. No, seriously, who who played the most games? Like, has someone really said they were forty and thirty? Like, that's op. Yeah, so it's like, would you want everybody playing everybody and then just seeing who got the best record? Even if even if the number one person plays the number 400 person, would you guys want that? Or do you want the number one guy just playing people in the top 20? 
What do you think is the best way to do it? You know, because then people like Kerry and, and Skimbo would have played 60 games or something, and then they would have got, you know, they would have beat up on worse players, and we got a little higher. I think it was pretty good. Um, I don't know. But I don't even think it was top 60, though, like... I don't really know how it worked, to be honest. I don't really know how it worked. Personally. They did have a minimum games played. The minimum games played was 10. Once I went 9-1, and one, I became number 20. You know? The minimal games is 10. I think it worked pretty well. I, I all in all I think it was it was a dub. I really do. I don't remember who I lost to. I played one game at the end and lost to Des. And I had to change my seating. The amount of games played didn't matter at all. It didn't matter. Your amount of games mean meant nothing. It was all about your percentage, your games over 500. So, essentially, if you won every game, yeah, your, your games played one, for real, for real. My man mags with 21 months. I don't know. Who knows? Nobody's ever really... This is how I feel. Nobody ever really knows how leaderboards work, right? But everybody seems to get in the right spot. You know, when you look at the top 100 and you look at the top 20 and the top 10 and the top 8, it's like, okay, that makes sense, right? So for me, that's what matters. Did you get the top 232 people? Uh, so I feel. And when, when the tournament's uh, top 232 people, if you can't make it, then, I mean, you just didn't get it done. That's all. You didn't get it done. It's not because of the format. You just didn't get it done. Same thing with top 8. You just didn't get it done. If you didn't make it, you just didn't get it done. You know? But I would love to know why, why, uh, who gets matched up with who and so on and so forth. That'd be cool, but. You know? But so, all in all, I, I think the three weekend thing was, I, I don't want to say it was a dub, but it might have been, it might have been a dub the three weekends. What do y'all think? Three weekend, one last one was one day, which I thought was a dub too. I, I didn't have a problem with that either. So Alpha, you work every single weekend. Oh, you mean? It's a W. Okay. When you say dub, I think you're talking to me. Two weekends. I don't know. Like I said, I don't think it really matters. One day, two days, three weekends. Four days is pretty good. But all in all, listen, I, I, I think it's a super dub. I think it was super fun. I wish you got games faster. I, I felt like playing it. I felt like playing it wasn't worth it because I played one game every hour and a half. For me, that was like, it just didn't seem like fun, really. Especially if my schedule is like, watch the baby during the day and I played a game at night. It was like messing up my schedule, really. So I killed it one day. That, that was good enough for me. Um, I believe it is a double elimination tournament. You know, so we'll see. Do I feel it was like that lockdown? I mean, yeah, it probably definitely matters. Like I wouldn't like I wouldn't want to play skimbo. You know, I wouldn't. 
If I was going for the top eight, I would wait till he was in a game to search. You know, I would. 100%. Why would I want to play him? You know? Unless it's the last day and I have nothing else to do. I want to get top eight. I got to knock him out, you know? I would, I would do that. You know, and that's like... It's a it's a part of streaming for real for real. I would I would do that. Yeah, but for me it's like I don't know how to explain it. For me it's like You gotta play eventually, right? You gotta play eventually. I I know for a fact I I, I would have played him a bunch if I if I was going for the number one. Maybe not. I don't know what I would have did. I just know if you'd never play him, you don't have a shot of winning. <laughs> That's how I feel. There are no clubs, Zems. Are no clubs this year, which is the biggest dub they ever made. No, no, Dollar. You can be afraid. You just can't show your fear. Alright? There's a difference. You can be afraid. That's part of life. There's situations when you're afraid, but you got to get good at hiding your fear. You got to put a front on that you're not afraid. That's one of the keys. That's one of the keys. But yeah, I think it's a double elimination tournament, which I don't love, but I like, you know, you get some you get your feet wet, you get in some games, you get some games played, you get it done. Right, boys? My man, Cat Crot. Cat Crot. Cat Crot, you can follow the channel, buddy. I appreciate it, man. Here goes Cat Crot's chat log. Madden 22 is broken as fuck. This game is super fucking broken. This is the most broke Madden ever made. How do you report a cheater to EA? This game is broken as fuck. Fuck EA. Cat Crot. Cat cry. I need more. I need more info. I need more info from you. I need more info, buddy. I need more comms. I need more comms. Age, sex, location, dude. We got a new blurker in the building too. A new blurker just followed the chat. Yeah, a lot of allegations. That's what I'm saying. Ghosty got a lot of allegations and no details about him, you know. Who's a fair to win? I mean, Lil Rixie. I mean, I got to be number one, you know. Fuck all these other guys. What would I like sucking dick of the opponents right now? What is that what you want? Do you want this a dick sucking show right now? The devs. It is the devs' fault, to be honest. It's the devs' fault. Chandler, I'm glad you're bringing up Skomo's Twitter. Thank you, man. That's the end of the stream. Deshaun Jackson gets a new card. What kind of card? I saw Team of the Week was whack. I saw Team of the Week was whack. Am I wrong or am I right? Oh, flashback D Jack. Okay, okay. None of these guys are uh Eagles or Raiders, so Cards are trash. Crash and burned.
Oh, my man, two one five with thirty three months. Lem Barney is Lem Barney like six five? He'd be tough if he was six five. He didn't look bad. Yo, this is the worst part is that if you're not a Raider, you don't matter. Like for real. If you're not a Raider, you don't matter. That's what's kind of ass. Yeah, if you're not like, yeah, you just got to be a Raider, which is kind of boring. It's kind of boring for Ultimate Team, man, I'll be honest. Like, you don't try any new cards. You don't do nothing. You just, you're out here. Yeah, the tall dudes. The tall dudes definitely went crazy. No, it's just, it's just not worth it. Like, why receivers aren't worth it? They're not. Maybe Fuller. I don't know. I just feel like Fuller is too much coin and money to use, really. Yeah, I see. I feel like half is never to move. You want that two plus speed. Even to have two plus speed on four players is better than having like one plus on eight players. You know, that two plus of speed makes a bigger difference, really. So I think a 25-25 is not the move for real, for real. Now, Dion will get picked up. Let's not get carried away here, boys. Let's not get carried away with that. Dion will 100% get picked up, okay? So. Yeah, Dion will be fast enough to where it doesn't matter. The problem is... When you have a 50-50 theme team, boys, you only have how many players to use? 13 other players to use that aren't Raiders. You know, and right now, my whole O-line is not Raiders, so that's a whole five. So now I only have eight players, right? Who are my eight players I'm going to use? Sean T, Ed Reed, right? Miles Garrett. I only have five players left that aren't Raiders. Who are they? Justin Tucker, right? So now I have what? Four players left. I have Sweat, who I wish was a good Khalil Mack. Then I can use some other players. Woodson is a Raider. Uh, who's the other corner I got? Haynes is a Raider. Bates, I got Bates. You know. I still got my uniforms too. Because, like, I feel like the uniform shit is the worst. I feel like I'm kind of... But I don't know what player I would use if I did have Raiders uniforms, you know? Yeah. But Raiders do have probably the... I don't know if the Raiders have the best jerseys, but they have the most non... Like, best, cleanest looking, if that makes sense. The black is just... It's just clean, like... Imagine if it was some ugly-ass jersey. Like, who got the... Like, imagine if it was Dolphins. Everybody had Dolphins jerseys. At least the Raiders don't have some ugly-ass jerseys, dude. For real, for real. But I'm excited about... uh. Trayvon Diggs. I told you he overrated so low. He's overrated. Top five corners in the NFC. Ramsey, Jair, Slay. Who else is top five in the NFC? Ramsey, Jair, Slay. Bradbury's, Bradbury's probably better than Diggs. Lattimore. Yep, Lattimore's tough. Yep, yep, yep. Lattimore. Lattimore is a dog, for real, for real. Gilmore, okay. So, Diggs not even... Diggs high-key not even, like, top eight, for real, for real. Diggs not even top eight. you Bro. Like, for real, Diggs not even top eight in the NFC. 
Now we're talking about the league. Who in the AFC is better than? Let's think. Who in the AFC is better than Diggs? Who in the AFC is better than Diggs? Sneed. Marlon Humphrey, okay. Xavier Howard, yes. JC Jackson, debatable. Yep. Denzel Ward, Denzel Ward. Can I get some Denzel Wards? Tredavious White, Tredavious White, Tredavious White, Tredavious White. Hmm. So, so when you really think about it, Diggs is like 16 on the list for real, for real. So Diggs is like 16 on the list. When we're really talking about it, Diggs is 16 on the list. It's cool. I mean, he's an up and coming player, you know, and best of luck, best of luck to him, you know, but he's about 16. I'm not, I'm not hating. We literally just, we literally just broke it down. Marcus Peters, okay. There you go. Y'all just put y'all just bringing names out here, man. So I mean, I mean, y'all spewing hate towards me like we didn't just break it down. Like we, I didn't just say it. We provided evidence. Me and the chat provided evidence. So where is the hate really being directed right now? It's it's spewing from the Cowboy fans. You know what I'm saying. Spewing from the hate, spewing from the Cowboys fans, that's typical. That's typical. You know what I'm saying? Casey Hayward? Okay. That, hey, Otter, that's a good one. Okay. So he's number 17 on the list. 17 on the list. Okay. Okay. Casey Hayward, Sherman, I mean, listen, Sherman on a good day, Diggs on his best day, that's about, you know, that's about even. J.C. Horn, you know, you put that speed out there from J.C. Horn. Sertain Jr. Asante Samuel Jr. Okay. So right now Diggs is like 21. So Diggs is like 21. Okay. Okay. Dante Jackson. Pat Pete. Oh, no, no. Oh, no doubt about it. No doubt about it. No doubt about it. Pat Pete. Yeah. Larry Wilson. <laughs> oh, Slay is like top five in the league. Slay is tough. Like, no troll. Slay is tough. I'm not going to have y'all slander Slay. He's fucking tough. No troll. All right, Connor, first of all, my dick doesn't get hard over football players. I don't know what type of life you live, Connor. I don't know what you have going on in your Cowboys bedroom. I don't know what you got going on, what type of fat heads you got going on, but my dick does not move from football. All right? Let's reel, let's reel it in. Let's reel it in, Connor Bell. What type of fat heads you got? <laughs> <sighs> Here you go, this dude. He was playing outside leverage, indicating KZ had inside. He flipped his hips to play underneath. Shut the fuck up. He got burnt. God damn. Who the hell are you? Monty Kiffin over there. Look, Monty Kiffin. He was playing outside leverage. He flipped his hips to shut the hell. This one, bro, this is why we hate the Cowboys, bro. Y'all are idiots. Y'all are idiots. Y'all are idiots, bro. Hella excuses, bro. All y'all got to say is the man got burnt. That's all y'all got to say. It happens to corners. That's why we talk about it so much, because y'all in denial. Y'all don't win the game. He had to pick six. He got fried one time. That's 
That's all y'all got to say. It happens. Shit. Safety's fault. They y'all they act like this. And this is what they act like. Oh, since there's a safety, he shouldn't have to guard him. What is he supposed to do on the play? That's my question. What is he supposed to do on the play? Not guard the guy? Was he trying to give up a touch? Let the guy run right by him? Was that what he was trying to do? Was that his job? Let the guy run right by him. Don't guard shit. That's his job. Come on, Monty Kiffins. Here go to Monty Kiffins. The Monty Kiffins in the chat. Yeah, he didn't have to guard the streak. He was right there. Oh. Looked like the receiver was right there. Okay. The safety should have at least made the tackle. That dude was nowhere. That dude was nowhere. I'll be honest. The safety was nowhere. I'll give you that. But Diggs got frizzied. I agree. It, the, it, the fact that it was a touchdown was the safety's fault. But he got frizzied. Let's not. Let's keep that. Let's keep that. Re, let's keep that in perspective, boys. Yeah, safety did some ass shit. I right, safety was ass. I agree. But Diggs got frizzied. But that happens. It's like Asante Samuel, bro. Asante Samuel had hella picks, but he jumped and he got beat by double moves. And here go the Eagles fans. This is the difference. This is the difference between Eagles fans and Cowboys fans, right? I swear to God, Eagles fans hated Asante Samuel, dude. They hated him. This fucking stupid Asante. He gets beat by double moves all the time. Cut him. I need somebody that plays safe. Eagles fans just ki- they just killed they just killed Asante Samuel. Cowboys fans, oh my God, it's okay, buddy. You got beat by a double move, but it wasn't your fault. The grass was a little too long, and your cleats got stuck, and you're still the greatest specimen ever to play. That is the difference between Eagles fans and Cowboys fans. Y'all are soft as shit. Make excuses for everybody. Us, we just we wanted to cut Asante Samuel, dude. I honestly cannot think of a player that was untouchable by Eagles fans. I don't know. Probably Westbrook. Fletcher Cox has been pretty untouchable. Dawkins. Kelsey, no. They wanted to move Kelsey so much. Yo, Kelsey's first five years, they hated him. Oh, he's too small. He can't block the big guys. Kelsey, yo, if it was up to Eagles fans, they would have cut Kelsey for a 400-pound center. Don't let Eagles fans ever put, yo, Kelsey got drug his first five years in the league. No, Brandon Graham got killed. Brandon Graham got killed. Eagles fans, yo, Brandon, listen, I could honestly go out there and tell you, like, all they wanted was Earl Thomas over Brandon Graham. Now, when you really look at it, like, Earl Thomas was a great player, but, I mean, Brandon Graham... Who was really better? Like, who really had a longer, better career? For real, for real? Jason Peters? Bro, they killed that man. Oh, my God. Jason Peters. I don't even want... Y'all don't, y'all don't know Philly. Y'all don't know Philly. They killed everybody. They killed everybody. Westbrook was pretty high on the list of... Yeah, Westbrook was cold. T.O. McCoy was pretty high. They complained that he he held the ball. He he held the ball stupid. He he's got to hold the ball like this when he runs. Lane Johnson. Yeah, I didn't really kill Lane too much. He was a really good pick. Lane was a really good pick. Trotter. Runyon. Vic wasn't here long. Vic wasn't here long enough for them to start killing him. Tua, is Tua bad? Will the Dolphins finish bottom five, so the Eagles can have their pick? They needed to let Dawkins walk. Honestly, the Dawkins walking situation. They needed it to, like, he was washed for what the Eagles wanted him to do, really. He was. He was not playing well. He was looking bad. He had a bunch of concussions. 
And at what point do you just pay players for their past? Like, that's just not a successful sports franchise that does that, really. It's tough, but some players got to go, really. Did we kill DJ? Yeah, people didn't love DJ. Oh, he's a one trick pony. I mean, listen, this is how it works. Tom Brady's on another team. If Tom Brady can go, go, we don't want you anymore. Listen. Yeah, Dawkins was done, bro. Like, he's like, yeah, like, Dawkins was, he was cooked. He was cooked for real, for real. He was just, he was like the leader. He was like the blood of Eagles fans. You know what I'm saying? Like, he was like the heart. And you got rid of him, it's like. Yeah, that's that's a lot of people in football, though, man. He what? All right, all right, dog. The Jason Witten, what a bum! What's is Jason Witten still playing? Reggie White. Witten's Raiders chem. Witten does get Raiders chem. So when he gets in the game, we'll definitely have that guy. Witten does get the Raiders chem, boys. Seventy. He'll have 81 speed on my team. On my team. On my team. On my team. But on my team, boys, uh, let's check out these unbanned requests. Tournament's coming up, boys. I hope you guys. Uh... Nine new unbear requests. Uh, this guy might have been bad timing. Might have been bad timing. Might have been bad timing. Ma a Mallow ban. Ooh. Oh, this is the guy. This is the guy that uh, wanted to play regs. This is the guy I played in regs. Mallow banned him. Oh, there's an echo. Oh, thanks, boys. I really appreciate it. I really appreciate that. Let's come on. Keep typing it. Everybody type it. Let's go. Everybody type it. Imagine being timed out. Imagine being timed out for unbanned requests. Who else wants to be a timed out? Who else wants to get timed out? He's going to miss the entire unbanned request. Sad. Sad. That guy was way too hype. People, all these capitals and shit. Mallow, bring them, bring my man back. Stinky warthog. Like. Oh, 
don't have time for that. There's some nasty people. W, do you know Kimmy? Who? Kimmy Head. This is my chat in a nutshell. Like, what is this? Like, like who does? <laughs> like, mommy and Coop with 39 months, man. Yo. That's funny? This is funny? 13 months, my man, Kane. Think twice, got 19 months. The OG, 21 months. My man, Skeeno, with 26 months. Crash and burn, 12. He's back. Like, look at this. This is what, this is what y'all, this is what y'all invite to the chat. This is what y'all invite, for real. I don't got time for that, bro. Fuck you. It's <laughs> 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 oh, just funny. Bring him back. Blurker. Blurker is scum, dude. Yo, I'm banning hella people this week. I'm banning hella people this week. Hella people this week. It's gonna be five different different Geronimos up there. I don't know what happened to Geronimo. Blurker. All right, boys. He forgot his password. <laughs> he forgot his password. Twitch tour 2021. Register for the Twitch tour North America's at capacity. I feel like I should start doing all these little Twitch things that Twitch sends me. That way, when they send me some good shit, I actually can do it. Oh, well, registration is now full. GG's. Craigden, what's up, man? What's my preferred brand of forehead grease? My head is looking pretty good tonight, boys. What do we think? It's like a 9 out of 10 right now. I think I'm a 9 out of 10. You know I got the little dent right here. But my up top dent is not crazy. Right? I don't really have a dent on this side. I think it's pretty solid. I think it's pretty solid. 
I think my head is pretty solid. Pause. What's the key to shave your head? You take the razor, you put some shaving cream, and then you just like, it's really not that difficult. Jens kids, what's up, man? My head looks like the end of a baseball bat. It's pretty smooth then. I should get an eagle tattooed on the top of my head. That's a great idea as well. Like, how many subs for a head tattoo? I could get a Twitch a Twitch logo like right here. I get the Twitch logo right here. Or I can get like the fall emote. My man shooter, 14, 19 months total. Let's go, man. When is Boss Bot Wars 5? Announcement after this tournament, trust me. It is in the works. It is cooking. It is cooking. Boss Bot Wars 5 is cooking. I'm working on some things. I'm working on production. The idea is in place. The plan is in place. I'm thinking about the bots. I'm almost thinking about a PlayStation Boss Bot Wars. It's possible. It's possible. PlayStation Bot Wars. Never, never I would do that shit. Never would I do that shit. What I like putting PlayStation. What I look like, yeah, what I like putting PlayStation out there. Fucking nerd system. Who buys PlayStation to play Madden? This was the Need a Podcast, episode 149. Never will we have Bot Wars on PlayStation for losers. <laughs>